Could you describe yourself as a risk taker? A lot of people think that I'm a risk taker. I never feel that I'm a risk taker. I feel like I just have different goals and different tolerances than most people. But many people thought I was taking risks. So it depends, really it depends on your definition of what makes you secure. When I took my kids, of which you are one, to China, I didn't think it was risky because I knew the government was watching like hawks every foreigner who was around and I realized right from the beginning that no one was going to touch a foreigner, particularly a conspicuous person like myself with two children in tow. So to me it wasn't risky. To my friends on Park Avenue going off on an adventure to a foreign country where you don't speak the language and na 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 that seems risky. Were there ever any moments you felt you're in over your head or perhaps you had made a, a detour that you shouldn't have? Of course, there were scary moments. Uh, lots of times when we got arrested in China, um, I was unnerved, but uh, I only made one great blunder there, which is when I accidentally went right onto the border of China and Vietnam while the two countries were at war. Most of the time, there were small things that could be satisfied by an afternoon at the police station and writing a self-criticism afterwards. But I've been scared in my travels. I was once in Syria with a male friend who decided suddenly that he wanted to be alone for a few days and abandoned me way out in the countryside in Syria. I was a little bit worried, but it turned out that once there was no male fronting me, then all the women came over and spoke to me directly and took me home. And that was so interesting. You'd have three generations of women in the big living room, the young girls wearing jeans, their mothers wearing Western clothes, the grandmothers still wearing um, traditional gowns, and they were dancing for me and fixing me up. And it was quite nice being within the Society of Women, which I wouldn't have arrived at if I'd still been traveling with a guy.